Mm -hmm. I just can't get enough sausage. Hey guys, I uh, want to do a three video, a brief three video series on man time on the desire that men have for hanging out with each other without females around uh, and on the right that men have to do that. So the first video, today's video, uh, is going to be about what man time is and how to recognize it. The second video will be about the dynamics of man time, how it works and how you can ruin it. And then the third video will be, um, I suppose, to address the potential resentments uh, of this apart time, how to respect the sacredness of man time, how, but how to approach it and, and, and break into it without uh, demeaning it or disrespecting it. So there it is. Um, what man time is, how man time works, and how to approach man time as an outsider. I would say it's very natural for men and women to want to hang out with each other to reinforce uh, what they have learned, what uh, what they do, um, and to reinforce their basic fundamental selves as women and as men. And a lot of that, of course, is bound up in roles. And that's one of the reasons there's a lot of confusion about how uh, how women's time with each other and men's time with each other um, is supposed to work. Because a lot of these uh, roles have been called into question or have been eroded or have changed and things just haven't caught up with that. Now men are actually operating under a handicap here, I think. Because women gravitate towards each other, want to hang out with each other, want to talk and reinforce relationships, and the men do not care to be a part of that. But the women do care to be a part of the circles of men. Um, they perhaps negatively resent uh, being kept out, uh, and perhaps positively they want to relate and be a part of everything that their man or their men do. And so they uh, weasel their ways their way into into these circles to ignore the validity and sacredness of this apart time for women and for men is disrespectful and disrespectful on a fundamental level of um, I don't part I don't particularly care about this maleness or femaleness is so important to you and to your colleagues in crime. Um, what I care more about is that I get to be a part of this. I don't care to recognize it as a social exercise and, um, and reinforcement. I don't care to recognize it as a fundamental part of your identity. All I care to recognize is that I'm being kept out of it and I resent that. Where does man time exist? Man time exists wherever you have a group of at least four adults, at least two of whom are female and two of whom are male, and in which there is a, after a time of mutual general socialization, um, there is a purposeful parting of the sexes accompanied by particular cultural signifiers. So restated more briefly, a group of men and women, the men and women hang out together, then the men and women hang out apart from each other, doing stuff that we associate with women and with men. So how can you recognize man time if you're handicapped?
in doing that, if you lack the ability or the tact to see when man time is happening. Because it's not always man time just because there are two dudes or five dudes hanging out with each other. It's not necessarily man time. But it will be man time if the following things are being gathered around or discussed. Guns, cigars or pipes, fire, grills or meat, cars, carpentry, computers, anything technical, sports and balls, you don't want to mess with a man's balls, lawns, science fiction, and other similarly unattractive to women categories. Now, this list actually serves as a segue into the next video because there are things that women are happy to consign to men. I heard a, heard a woman on a documentary recently say that she's not interested in hanging out with a man who doesn't look like he could build a bookshelf. So while there's a lot of variation in what is perceived as being masculine, there's also a lot that's held in common and carpentry and video games are two such things. There are, however, a lot of things that are not particularly masculine. But if you hear them being discussed in a group of men, so you walk up, it's four men, and they're talking about any of the following, and there are no women present, it is man time. That would include things like theology, politics, history, books, literature, uh, philosophy, ethics, business, anything that would be taken very seriously by any adult. If a group of exclusively males was discussing it, and then a female arrives, man time has just been ruined. Not because these are topics which women are not interested in, and not because these are topics which men don't want to talk to women about, but because men interact with each other differently. It's one thing to be in business together and talk business with a woman. It's another thing to be hanging out with your buddies, be talking business, and then have a woman show up in the middle of that. That ruins the dynamic, and the dynamic itself is valuable to the men. They want to be able to deal in a masculine way with these things. Talk about politics. Talk about philosophy. Um, and if it's just a bunch of dudes over there in the corner smoking their cigars and talking politics, you might be all excited. You might be all riled up to get in there. But you might want to respectfully consider uh, letting those dudes be. So the next video is going to be uh, on the dynamics of man time, which is something we've just started talking about. And tomorrow we'll, we'll, we'll dive into that.